Hey everybody, this is Christine and my cat Montague. He always seems to help me out on my videos. Uh, if you're new to the shopping therapy couch, welcome. And uh, so I usually do um, Dollar Tree hauls and other such videos. So uh, if you wanna join me and Monty, sit back, relax, do some shopping therapy with us and uh, let's get it started, all right. So I usually do some of the mundane stuff first, uh, but these are products that I use over and over again. So uh, these are the heavy duty scouring pads and uh, they're great for just, um, you know, your pots and pans and some stubborn things uh, to get off your dishes. And then I got some of the storage bags by Surefresh. Um, so I always tend to get some of these as well. So moving on to uh, from the kitchen things. I did pick up some towels this week. I got this uh, beautiful towel. Actually, I got two of these and they are companion towels to, um, they had some spring ones. So this one says bloom where you're planted and it has the nice little um, bicycle with the flowers. So as you can see, um, there is a theme to the flowers. So I think they had uh, two other patterns but um, but that was speaking to me and I think that's just gonna uh, look lovely either in the kitchen or in the bathroom because sometimes I use these um, kitchen towels as uh, bathroom hand towels as well so I think I think it's nice and gives a little bit of diversity to the house and then I got some storage bins as well so they came out with some pretty designs. I ended up getting three of these. So there you go. And these are the smaller ones. So let's see, you can see the dimensions there. So it's nine by nine by eight. So you know, I've got three of those and maybe I, hopefully it's going to fit um, a shelf that I have. So I'll test that out. got some socks this week so got three pairs so the first one is the llama i usually don't get llama stuff because i'm not into them but these are very cute they have like these pom-pom kind of ears and so and then they're crew socks so that's the style i don't like really the cut off ones until like summer and then um then here is some koala ones with like some fuzzy ears i thought that was really cute and all of these are sizes five to nine. And then there's some little cow ones. He looks like he's smiling, it's so cute. So again, he's got that little pom-pom ear thing going. Uh, they had some other socks, but uh, I wasn't really interested in them, so I just picked up those three. I've been watching some of the other haul videos, and I swear I went to like three Dollar Trees, and I found the hedgehog planter. They had a unicorn llama kind of thing. A turtle which I saw those but the one that I really wanted was the fox ones but uh, unfortunately the two stores that did carry these they were all out of the fox ones so but the hedgehog was really cute so I did pick up this one so I don't know maybe I should have picked up two because I know by the time I go back to that one store they had all three of these I bet you they're all gonna be all sold out and going along with the hedgehog theme, I picked up this little guy. It's the teeter-totter with the hedgehogs and the apples. It was so cute. Uh, it's one of those fairy garden uh, figurine things, but you can use them for anything that you want, like decorations and whatnot. And then I saw these little pinwheels and I thought they were so cute. Uh, unfortunately they're not metal they're plastic but they do rotate each side but there's a cardboard thing the cardboard thing fell off of this one so they did have two colors the uh, yellow and blue and purple and red let's see if I can adjust the camera a little bit so I can So you get the picture. But anyway, um, usually they have like in the art markets and stuff, they have big metal ones, 
but I thought the plastic one was just as good so I'll get some enjoyment out of that in my garden. Can I smell that one? So my last item is this Happy Easter sign. So you can see that. And it's a quite a long sign. I wish this was um, the tin, but it's not. It's just a covering um, that looks like full wood. Yeah, but it has a nice little raffia bow. But there is the rest of it. So it has these cute little um, feet. So that is it for my haul. And you can see this heart in the background. So usually I do like a like a product review or a update on a project. But today I would like to read what some of the ancient Greeks thought about love. And in honor of Valentine's Day, let me zoom in on this heart. There we go. So the first one was Eros or erotic love. The second one was philia, and that was associated with affectionate love. The third one was storge, or the love that you have for your family and friends. The fourth one, ludus, or playful love. The fifth one is mania, or the obsessive love. Six is pragma, or the enduring love, the love that matures and ages over time. Number seven is Flalutia, or the self-love. And the final one is Agape, or selfless love. Uh, so I am, on this Valentine's Day, I am wishing you all the love, but maybe not the manic kind of love, but definitely the love for yourself and for all your loved ones. So happy Valentine's Day to you. And remember, if you don't have a significant partner or um, significant other, or don't feel like things are going uh, your way, uh, don't worry, things, will be, things are temporary and they will pass. So you are never alone. And also remember that you are love and emotion yourself. So with that, happy Valentine's Day and we'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.